What is going on guys, Premier Green here. Today I want to talk about something really interesting, an idea that I saw on Reddit and I just want to bring it out to more of you guys and bring it out to you know more of the Call of Duty community. Make sure that more people are aware of it and I think it's a really good idea. Basically I saw an article on Reddit, a uh, post by on Reddit uh, by I am only a lurker. I'll link the Reddit post down in the description. Basically it said, does anyone else also think we should be awarded for assisted cap and domination? And what he's talking about is you know how you capture a flag in domination for example you start the match you run out start capturing b flag when you're like 50 percent done 75 percent done you get killed and then your teammate jumps on it after you and just gets the flag you know um it doesn't reset but your teammate just gets in to start copying it and you capture you captures it 100 percent what he's talking about is when you die you don't get you don't get any points for capturing that flag even though you captured most of it and your teammate just captured uh, you know 25 percent 10 percent of the flag so now um what he's talking about is when you actually help them you assist them cop you should be awarded capture points you know assisted capture points 100 points or 50 points whichever now um he also wrote that however these points should only be awarded if you die copying the flag Otherwise, people just cup half and run off. Uh, what he means by this is to stop people from cheating, or um, you know, just jumping in the flag and just running off to get free points. So if you die, let's say you have, you need 50 points to get UAV or a big kill streak. So you go in, you capture the flag, but you die just about, you know, you're just about to capture, but you die, and your teammate gets it. Then you should be awarded assist point, which add on to your UAV or the other kill streak and you're able to get it after you die this way it, it, you know it helps you get the kill streak faster it, it actually awards you for you know capturing the flag which you actually did j most of the work but your team obviously stole the flag capture now you know how you assist uh, moving a robot in safeguard it's very similar to that if you stay on the robot you move it you get assist points 50 assist points which is a lot you know same as one kill in safeguard so you know he's just saying that you should be maybe awarded some points now um i've i've had this idea a long time as well i really want this to be implemented in the future call of duties just because i do most of the work and then the team it comes in steal the captures so you know it's kind of not fair but i didn't really know how to put it and this post when i saw it, it just puts it right how i want it so basically for example i'll make this one for you for simple for you guys nuketown b flag you jump in you capture 75 75 percent and then you just die but your teammate comes run, running along and saves it and actually manages to capture it now you should be awarded points for capturing 75 percent off the flag you know because you did most of the work and then the teammate just comes off for one second or two seconds and just captures it so you know uh, yeah and now if you look down some of the people i feel like it should i feel like it should go off percentage based on how long you were able to. so yeah uh, basically what this person is writing about if if you capture 50 percent you should be awarded 100 points if you captured uh, less than 25 percent you should be awarded uh, 50 points if you captured 75 percent of the flag you should be awarded 150 points which is really fair to be honest because you don't really um, want to make it so you're just awarding points to everyone and yeah to make this fair and balanced you get awarded if you die and if you actually capture 25 50 75 100 percent of the capture of the flag and you die so you know it's a really good way and i know how annoying it is because i just die by ca trying to capture the point and capture the flag and it's die one off and don't get don't get any points for it my team is just comes in kills that one guy that killed me in the back and then um, he just gets a point 200 points for just staying there for one or two seconds so you know it's really annoying comment down below what you guys think of this hopefully it is in the next call of duty if you know other people are watching this video some um you know big youtubers then make sure you make a video about this get Treyarch to know about him get more of the community to know about it so you know more of the people are aware of this otherwise um, it's just it's really not fair for people who capture most of the flag to just sit there and not get any points you know and then someone just comes last second and get most of the points now another person wrote i've already thought the flag capture should be staggered 50 points for 25 percent off the capture 100 points 50 percent 200 points for 50 percent 20 bonus for b 20 most for solo copying now that's a really good idea more you know you get you should get more points for solo copying or more points for cop copying b this way people will actually be motivated to go out there and capture the b flag i know how annoying it is when teammates just come in top window or nuketown or just play off the b, of b flag now what this will do is allow people to go and actually be motivated to go and capture the flag 
or the point instead of just staying back so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video comment down below what you think of this hopefully it is implemented in the next future Call of Duties like the video subscribe peace